How's it going, my fellow degenerates? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So we're going to break down GameStop, do a quick midday update as it is about 1 p.m. on the East Coast here. And let me tell you guys, GameStop has not done anything today, pretty much, as it is down only 15 cents, pretty much at break even, guys, down 0.6%. So I want to break down the charts with you guys and go over what I think it's going to take to move GameStop stock. And we'll go over my updated position position right now which let me tell you guys it's not looking so pretty so hit the like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo each up to $2,000 with at least a $100 deposit use that link down below the QR code right here or go to stasurfast.com slash Moomoo and with that being said guys cheers let's get right into the video so we're pretty much at $25 per share right now as I'm making this video guys down only 15 cents pretty much at break even as we are holding the lows from yesterday you guys probably remember yesterday was the annual shareholder meeting which really nothing new came out of which I mean guys we were expecting that let's be honest we read the proxy statement over the weekend there wasn't anything crazy that we were expecting out of the shareholder meeting and throughout that entire meeting and afterwards a little bit GameStop sold off from around $28 down to about $23 then we ran into close a bit and we closed at $25.30 and that's pretty much where we are right now at $25.10 $25 and earlier in the day this morning we actually got to the mid 23s again slightly taking out the lows from yesterday which I guess the exact low from yesterday was $23.70 five ish cents so we took out those lows by about 15 cents and then we had a wave of buying pressure we ran all the way up to almost 26 dollars and now we're kind of selling off again intraday down to about 25 dollars per share but one thing worth mentioning here guys even though we're selling off a bit on the day we are seeing buyers come in at about 23 to 25 dollars and we've seen this happen time and time again over the last couple of days you guys can see on this five day five minute if i get the circle tool out boom you guys see that there boom 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 right you guys see all the buying pressure that's come in that's came in at this low mid 23 or 20 dollar range you guys can see here back about a week ago we held 23 dollars then we ran to 33 dollars the following day i think this was on uh last tuesday something like that either way or maybe last wednesday whatever either way guys we've noticed that the mid 20s has held as support and guess what guess who has a position in the mid 20s guys it's roaring kitty man he's got a position at 23 dollars which we'll take a look at here in a second and it seems like uh, you know gme does not want to go under this point at least as of now and to play devil's advocate right we do have a bit of a descending triangle here, which technically isn't the best pattern for the Bulls, but we haven't broken under that mid to low 23 level, which means the descending triangle hasn't played out yet, which for the Bulls, obviously, that's a good sign. So I'm keeping my eyes on this time frame very closely on the 20 day as well. And on the four hour, which you guys can see, we are holding above the 180 moving average, which mind you, we've held this point for now a month and a half, pretty much ever since GME has kind of broken back onto the scene, right? You guys remember back in the early days of May, we were at about $11, $10. We ran all the way to 80, right? And we've been riding this 180 moving average ever since. And we're noticing buying come in above it yet again this go around but we're not necessarily seeing the next leg up yet which is the million dollar question will we get that will we not get that is gme done for i don't necessarily think it is but we're just not getting the confirmation quite yet so let me show you guys quickly what's going on here with raw and kitty which we haven't gotten a position update in almost a week now but as of the last position he owns or last update he owns nine million one thousand shares at twenty three dollars and forty one cents which you guys have heard this time and time again you already know this and i feel like we're not going to go under this average 
average cost. Maybe we do a little bit. Who knows? But I feel like GME's holding the mid-low 20s very steady because Kitty is in with an average cost of $23. And to be honest, guys, for this stock to start moving aggressively again, we need another position update. We need to see what is going on with Roar and Kitty's position. Did he buy more? Is he, you know, buying shares, buying calls? If we get another update with him having even more shares, maybe 10 million shares or something crazy, or maybe, you know, he bought some more calls, maybe a month out. This is what it's going to take to move the stock, right? And of course, he's been a bit quiet on Twitter. We got two tweets yesterday. One was of this famous tennis player, which guys, I'm sorry, I'm not a big tennis guy. Never really watched tennis in my life. So I didn't know who this was, but a lot of you cleared that up in the comments. You guys are awesome. So we got that tweet, which got 2.6 million impressions, right? And before that, he didn't tweet or he hasn't tweeted since the 13th of June. So he took a couple days off. And we also got this meme, or uh, yeah, this picture right here, which I forget what movie this one's from as well. Maybe I'm not cultured enough, guys. It is what it is. But yeah, he's been quiet on Twitter the last couple of days or on X. Excuse me, guys. I, I keep calling it Twitter. You guys know how that goes. But yeah, it's going to take an update, some more insight on where, you know, he's putting his money for this to move the stock. Because now at this point, guys, the meeting's gone. We saw his updated position about a week ago. That came and went. So now it's like, what are we waiting for? We're, you know, we're waiting for that next big thing, right? And my position, guys, is pretty much toast at this point. You guys can see if this wants to update. I'm now down to, let's see, the uh, the calls I'm in are down 46% on the day, guys, which I bought the $30 June 21st calls. And obviously, it's the 18th. We're approaching the 21st. We're three days away. And this was with fun money. It's not like I lost my life savings or anything like that. But I bought these at $4.35 five cents for uh for a contract right that's the average cost and i think at one point i got up to 75 percent in the green so these were up to like seven dollars a contract or something like that and of course with the benefit of hindsight i probably should have sold those i didn't it is what it is you live and you learn i kind of wanted to hold out a little bit more and you know now we're down 90 percent that's how it goes, guys. That's how the options, buying options at least, you know, a lot of the time you lose a lot of money, which is why I always say the golden rules, two golden rules with these, you know, game stops of the world, the AMCs, the meme stocks only put an amount of money you're willing to lose. And the second rule, which in this case I didn't follow, um, is lock in the profits when you're up. Don't be scared to take the quick profit, which in this case, I didn't follow my own rules and it burned me because look, the day after I bought the um, the options, right? I think it went up 75%. My position did. I should have locked the gain in right there, but I didn't. And here we are, guys, again, down 90%. And it's not the end of the world. Again, this is not life-changing money. I only lost on paper as of now 390 bucks. But yeah, I'm pretty much down 90%, pretty much 100%, guys. And, you know, if I don't sell out of these later today or at some point later in the week, they're going to expire worthless, right? That's essentially what is going to happen here. And again, why it's so risky buying calls, buying puts with a lot of money, right? Only do it with an amount of money that honestly you're you're willing to lose all of or at least 50 to 75% of, right? So that's a quick update here on my position, what's going on with GameStop, kind of my thoughts overall. Now, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe. Very important, guys. We're trying to get to 50,000 subs this year on YouTube. I appreciate you all. And if you like free money, who doesn't like free money? Use that Moomo link down below. You can get up to 15 stocks, each up to $2,000 with at least a $100 deposit. Again, link down below. The QR code's right here or go to stasurfast.com com slash moo moo and with that being said guys cheers i'll catch you in the next one